I watched. God, this is about to fall out of the again. No, God damn it. Well, okay. Uh, I I've seen a couple of the films. Obviously, when we get once the SAG screeners come out, we we it's movie marathon time. Watching one or two films a day, and I've just seen back to back the two best films of the the, the year that are up for contention. One is the the Banshees of Inisherin, and then yeah. boy oh boy, the performance Bill Nye gives. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. In Living, I haven't seen it yet. Ah man, over, over your your boy and Elvis and uh, no, Brandon I Frazier? I still I still would give I still choose Austin for the monumental task he undertook, uh, not just in time but what was required and the expectation. There's there's subtleties that are just part of the script in Living that are very very different. I still lean Austin. If it went to Bill Nye, I would not be unhappy. Brendan, I'm happy for the resurgence of his career, mm. and he does a solid job. Uh, the film itself, for me, is... Mm. I, I just... It was... V I had high expectations for The Whale, mm. and it disappointed. Gotcha. Uh, except for Brendan. I think he's he's absolutely... He's deserving of a nomination for what you see him put into it, but mm. other than that, I wouldn't give him... I wouldn't give him the Oscar. No. Uh, okay. no. That's just my two cents worth. Hey, welcome back to our show with Rex with Corbin. I'm Bill Nye. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, I'm on Dylan Conklin. I got a Patreon, follow us on Twitter, subscribe, lemon, and like button. Why? Because help me all of them. And I don't know that I'm, I don't know that I'll ever be able to look at Bill Nye ever and not see Davy Jones. I just, when I look at those eyes. Or the eyes, science guy. Or the science guy. But when I look at those eyes, I wish he'd gotten nominated for that. Souls. He, he should have been nominated for Davy Jones. Yeah. Obviously, he's a great actor. Oh. Today, we got another new trailer that dropped. I believe it was around this morning, and it's a Ren Beer. What? And uh, sh say this name for me right here. Shraddha. Shraddha. Uh, and it's called Tu Juti Main Makar. Uh, and it's a it's a rom com, um, and so it's it's very, very almost like um what was that uh, a bum la pichicari whatever film that was you know um, yeah I do um 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 I was just listening to that yesterday we were listening to that and we were listening to English of English and anyways dang it it's in in that vein of a, of, of a rom com yeah um, we were also listening to. Hello, hello. I'd like to kiss your mommy. Hello, hello. I feed her my pastrami. Anyways, let's just get into this. Big year for Ren Beer again this year. I think he's got at least three films coming out this animal, and I believe he has another one. What a shock. And he has a baby. And he has a baby, and he's still a newlywed, technically. Here we go. relationship उसमें से निकलना मुश्किल रिश्ता जोड़ना आसान है तोड़ना मुश्किल इसलिए झूठ बोल के पकड़वाना नहीं है बल्कि झूठ बोल के सच में छुपाना है फिर दोर झूठों में छुपाना है फिर सच में छुपा के उस सच में झूठ की बनावट का हल्का सा हिंट देना है वो लड़की है बाकी वो खुद कर लेगी तुझे बस हल्का सा शक कराना है I know too bad, I trust me. I am not. The night is your 
जाएगी तो तू ही छोड़ के जाएगी आजकल रिलेशनशिप में घुसना आसान है उसमें से निकलना मुश्किल रिश्ता जोड़ना आसान है तोड़ना मुश्किल नमस्ते पंडित जी कुंडलिया मिलवानी थी अब जल्दी क्या है बुरा बन के ब्रेकअप तो कोई भी कर सकता है खूबसूरत ब्रेकअप वो होता है जिसमें सामने वाले को उसके घर वालों को रिश्तेदारों को सबको लगे कि लड़की तो बहुत प्यारी है हमारे लड़के में ही खोट है रोक तो ले भाई क्या कर रहा है एक बार तो रोक मुझे उद्देश्य नहीं दिख रहा है यार तेरी जिंदगी का अब क्या करेगा जी के इसकी आंख हमें सच्चा प्यार हो गया और ये मजे ले रही है छोटी कही की हमारे से चोर से चोरी मकार से मकारी नहीं करती प्यार तो बोले ना नहीं करती ये क्या घटिया तरीका है अब इसे मैं बताऊंगा कि किसी मासूम के दिल से खेलने का नतीजा क्या होता है इसे खेलना है ना खेलते हैं कोई कदर ही नहीं रह गई दुनिया में प्यार की मेरा तो दिल कर रहा है खुद के मर जाओ इतने फ्रिवेस हो चुके लोग छी It's almost your birthday. Very close. June, March, and 10th. it's almost the Oscars. March tenth, right? Is your yeah? Is your birthday? Yep. That does actually give a lot of vibes of um, that film we were talking about with the song, because uh, it, it's it seems like a, a young people's like rom com ish, but very Bollywood. Oh yeah, rom com. Yeah, I well one three minutes is almost always that's three twenty two. That was not that's too long. Um, yeah. and I you the whole film. Yeah, I, I'm I gather they're both lying to each other, but I didn't see enough of that to fully feel intrigued in a what a tangled web we weave kind of a thing where my, my, I, I, I don't really understand what's going on and I wasn't guess, really interested in what I think was going on. I think that the whole premise is that first line of falling in love is easy, breaking up is hard. And so I think they fall in love and then they kind of fall out of love and so, but they don't want to break up. It's, you know, it's like so they're they, on a break. No, they, they're together, but they don't, like each one, does, they want the other one to break up with them kind of thing mm. but neither of them want to do it and then my bet is in the end they find that they love each other in the end it's yeah going to be one of those kind of films right yeah um but yeah it's it i i, I know for a fact the songs are going to slap <laughs> just like in that film yeah because i don't think like we totally like love that film i don't remember because we saw it so long ago yeah well god i just wish i remember I can, the name i can look at it because it's on my playlist yeah, hi Duani. hi Duani. that's, that's it. it is it just took me a second. Yep. Uh, I can't remember fully how we felt about it, but obviously the songs are iconic yeah. in that in that film. Uh, uh, yeah, Dembo Kapadi, I did see it. And I don't think I've recognized... Oh, was she in Header? What was she in Header? Oh. Okay. Huh. But did not it, recognize her. It's been four years. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> understandable. <laughs> <laughs> did not recognize her. Yeah. Uh, from from Header. Um, but yeah, it. it <laughs> so this one is. This makes me laugh. This uh, poster right here, because mm. I've tweeted about it, and I know you know on Twitter. But the <laughs> I called it um, um, Joey Tribbiani's fart acting method. Remember when you just watched Friends? Joey Tribbiani says it's called, uh, I think, Gary Oldman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Gary Oldman. Yes, you're right. Tell about it. Yeah. And he says, you just yep, pretend. Yeah, that is. That's, <laughs> he's, got the, he's got the Joey Tribbiani fart acting. <laughs> he does. Right there yep. on, the, on the poster. Yeah, he does. Uh, <laughs> if you've seen Friends, I guess you know what, uh, know what I'm talking about. Um, I could see it like going either way of like being not really good. And, and, and kind of almost because everything was hyper stylized, similar to not as, but similar like circus was. Yeah. How we were like, this could go either way. Yeah. This could be like pretty funny. Uh, yeah, but so, I could also see it only working for Hindi speaking audiences. Yeah, that's as possible. Well. Yeah. If, if like the dialogue is in a certain way and 
we hear that all the time is like the certain way they're saying the dialogue and then in the subs it just doesn't translate to yep. the comedy or what they're trying to convey yep a lot of times um so it it i could see it going <laughs> either way there uh for for this style of film um what do you what do you think yeah it the, the trailer itself is a menu that i look at and i think man yeah yeah, it's just uh, it doesn't look like my my cup of filter coffee. Um, uh, it just there, it it seemed kind of for th- for a three minute trailer, it I it just seemed quite the plot seemed juvenile and just disinterested me. I think that might be one of the points though, because I think its target audience is a younger target could, audience. Could very well be. They're, they people make films specifically for a specific uh, audience. Sometimes. Yeah, but I loved High School Musical, and that is the a comparable. I love High School Musical. Is so, it because your kids love High School? No, Musical? no, no. I would love High School Musical even if they didn't love High School Musical. I don't know. Have you watched it recently? I watched the beginning. Uh, no, but it's scene uh, it, recently, for, and it doesn't hold up. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure if I went back and revisited it, it there's several films when I go back and revisit it. I, I'm like, wow, why did I like that film when it first came out? <laughs> it was that, that's what it was with Taken. I watched Taken with Indrani, uh, and I'm watching it, and I thought this was so much better when it first came out. <laughs> But yeah, I yeah. just there's I always going to be honest, this doesn't intrigue me. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the trailer. Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? Do you think it's going to be meh? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> let us know what you think down below. Josh!